What's up, guys? Uh, Max, here with Teenage Patriot. This is uh, episode number two of the series, Fasting and Praying. So today we're going to be talking about praying. It's going to be a really good episode. We're going to be in the book of Matthew. Uh, Matthew, we've pretty much been to Matthew this whole uh, channel time. So Matthew, uh, it's so good. I mean, there's so much good scripture in there. There's so, there's just so much. I personally read Matthew. Uh, Mark is also really good. Mark is pretty much an overflow of Matthew to me. Like, uh... A lot of the stories in uh, Matthew are in Mark, but more in depth in Mark. So if you ever want to start just like reading the Bible and you don't know where to start, start in Matthew. Go Mark, Luke, John, Acts. Just keep going. It it it, it won't be there won't be a dull moment for you. So enjoy this episode. So in Matthew six verses five to eight, it says, "Whenever you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray standing in the synagogues." And on the street corners to be seen by people. Truly I tell you, they have the reward. But when you pray, go into your private room, shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees it in secret will reward you openly. So when you pray, don't babble like the Gentiles, since they imagine they'll be heard for their many words. Don't be like them, because your Father knows the things you need before that you ask. So it's good to like pray in public, but don't just do that. Don't just do it for man. Like you, you want to be praying all the time. You want to be praying at home by yourself. You want to be praying in your car. You want to be praying at work, at school, anything. Don't just pray in church. Just pray as much as you can. So now we're going to be uh, going throughout the Lord's Prayer and how to pray. Uh, that's a really important thing. Most people don't know how to pray. Uh, it says in the Bible, the Lord's Prayer, and it says, uh, this is how you should pray. It says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, and as, for, as for we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So, the Lord's Prayer that's a really good start. The Lord's Prayer is probably one of the most strongest, boldest, best prayer. It says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. I mean, that that's amazing right there. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed means like sanctified. So sanctified be the Lord's name. Uh, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Th those are really good. Just really good words. Uh, give us our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. That one's really good, too. Uh, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. That is one of the most boldest prayers. Like, if you want to just start, just start like that. Then this pretty much gives you a good description on how to pray. I mean, you just read through that and pretty much just start by talking to God. And if you're too scared to pray in front of people, honestly, let me tell you. Just if someone offers for you to pray, just raise your hand. Even like, even if you don't think you can do it, you're, like God's gonna God's gonna use you to do it. So, just go for it. You just gotta jump out and do it. That's what well, that's what I learned. So if you, especially if you want to get like into street ministry and ministering to people in public, just just jump for it. Honestly, that's what I had to do. So I was actually in a restaurant not too long ago. And I seen this man, and it was really on my heart to to pray for this guy. So I didn't know how to do it, and I was like, I don't want to just walk up to him. So I actually got like a uh, this thing on my heart to buy him a gift card for this restaurant and go up to him, and that will be the start of something. So that's what I did. I bought a gift card. I came to this man. I gave him it, and I said, man, I feel felt on my heart from God that I should give you this gift card, and I want to pray for you. So I gave him the gift card, and I prayed for him, and this guy went from at the table with his head down to up and talking to me, and he was over at our table showing us because he was a veteran, all his badges and stuff, and it was just a, it was just a really good deal. So, and you'll feel so much better after you do it. Like, you just gotta jump for it and just do it. So I hope you guys liked this episode today on praying. Uh, I hope you guys like and subscribe and turn on these post notifications. Uh, we'll see you later.